everyone, Linda here with you from Gunnut Lane Jewelry. Uh, this week we're going to be working on a connector link for a bracelet. Um, I just come up with the idea this morning, so I quickly made one. Well, actually, I made two. One's a smaller version, one's a larger version. Um, you can you can do a lot with this bracelet. I, I can see a lot happening with it. So I thought I'd share it with you. Um, this is the, the second one I came up with. It's a, a lot wider and uh, chunkier is probably the word I'm looking for. Um, you can use whatever bead you want to use on top. This is the uh, the first one I made. So you've got a couple of choices there. Uh, this is uh, obviously finer. Um, sitting on the wrist there, that one's finer. And this one's chunkier. So if you'd like to learn how to make this, then uh, stay with me. But I'll be back in just a sec. Okay, I'm back with you. Um, uh, for the, the one that I'm going to be showing you today, demonstrating today, we're doing the, the chunkier one. Um, so you're going to need some 16 gauge wire. You could use uh, 18, uh, not 18 gauge, um, what's the next one up, 14 gauge. You can actually make this one as thick as you want, want to. Um, so I've just flush cut the end of that and I'm just going to pull off some wire. to get us started and I'm just going to grab my um, uh, what's it called my uh, wrapping tap oh my goodness just can't think of words it's terrible so I'm just going to leave um, a small amount here at the start and that will be for our um, connector hook at the end there uh okay now i'm gonna oh wait a, minute, wait a minute let me think here okay i'm going to use my six step pliers first because i'm going no i'm not i'm telling lies just leave a small amount goodness gracious linda where is your brain today uh, okay now come on you this one's going to be a little bit hard to do under a camera because the wrapping wire that we um use through the center here is quite a long piece so just uh, be aware of that. All right. So I'm going to make my, I've got my little piece left there, and I'm going to make my first loop here. So I'm just br bringing that around, slipping that off so I can reposition it. And I'm bringing it around again. And I just have to see the angle here that I'm at. Okay. And then I'm stepping up um, to the next level on the wrap and tap. If I get that around the right way, Linda. And I'm bending back the opposite way. And I'm bringing that all the way around again to like I'm just angling this now so I can see where I'm at okay so that's what it should be looking like so far and then back down to the smaller end we're going to wrap back the other way sorry we're going to wrap back the other way oops keep it on the mandrel <coughs> Now, if you have a small wrist, I'd suggest you probably make this a bit smaller. Um, not use your wrap and tap, maybe use uh, something else. Uh, this size here is what I use for this uh, smaller one. But if you wanted to, if your wrist is small and you wanted to make it a little bit smaller than this, I think this would be too small. So if you could find something in between, say use that one for your biggest one in the middle, and then find some, or we could probably use that then on the side, maybe that might work, yeah. Okay, so we've got that. And now I'm just gonna grab my cutters and I'm using my old cutters for this because it's um, 16 gauge wire. 
and I'm just going to cut that off roughly there. Just need enough to bend back for a loop. Okay, so we've got that shape and I'm just going to grab my pliers and I'm going to bend that up straight like that. Same on the other end. So we've got those and you can use your round nose pliers or your six step pliers for this. Totally up to you which one you use. I'm going to just use the this size here on my uh, mandrel and just turn the loop. So it looks like that. Do the same on the other side. So we've got our two loops on the end. I'm just pushing that back a little bit. I was sticking out a little bit too far. And you can just maneuver them until they're sitting in the right positions. Okay. It's looking good to me. Now I'm just going to grab my bench block and I'm going to use my metal hammer and my rubber hammer for this. So I've got my metal hammer out here. I'm going to do the, the uh, hammer the, the loops on the end to give them the strength. I'm also going to hammer the outer edges of these loops on these sides here. Now you can hammer this as much as you like, like flattening it as much as you like, totally up to you how you do it. Okay, and uh, do this one. And then the last one. my block away and I still need my block. All right, now I'm going to use my rubber hammer and this is just to strengthen these other sides. Just so they don't pull apart or to help them not pull apart. Okay, that feels pretty firm to me. And I put that away. Okay, now we're going to use 22 gauge wire and we're going to need a really long piece of this. Now I measured it out on when I made uh, this one and I used um, 184 centimetres, which is about 72 inches of your 22 gauge. So it's quite a long piece. And it uh, makes it a little bit difficult to to work with, um, but it's fun. You know, it's it's not uh, that annoying that you go, I'm not doing this. Well, not for me anyway. I didn't think so. Uh, okay. So I'm not going to measure this one. I'm just going to guess where I'm at with that. Cut that off. Now this is probably going to be difficult for me to do under camera so I may have to um, just start it off and then come back 
you know, if I feel I need to uh, in the middle of doing it or whatever, I'll come back if I get, to, you know, something that I think you need to know. So I'm just going to uh, wrap this on now. So I'm doing, okay, I'm going to try and do this so I don't have to bring the, the wire through, which is the opposite way to how I normally I'll just grab some pliers. Give me a hand here. And yes, I'm doing it with my left hand. I found I can do quite a bit with my left hand when I'm making jewellery. Must be something I've just picked up over the years. I, I didn't even notice I was doing it. And then one day I just went, oh, I'm doing that with my left hand, which is unusual because I'm right-handed. Okay, cut that off. And bring those together and tap that wire down. So now we're just going to start and you just it's this is the fun part because it's you just put the wire wherever you want to put it um, other than these first few wraps that we're going to do now just remember I'm working with a really long wire here so if I can't keep it on camera I'm sorry <coughs> and don't worry about trying to keep your wire right what uh, straight not wait straight um, that just all adds to the design. My wire's caught, caught under my leg there. So we're just wrapping around it. Just and this is um, to hold these wires together to strengthen the the um, bracelet, the connector for the bracelet. Pulling a wire through and trying to untangle it from catching on things here. So I've gone under, I'm going over this time and through. So this is a, um, I guess it is a, a basket weaver, a figure eight or whatever you want to call it. So I'm coming back up through there now. And then I'm coming down through this one. Okay, I just want to make sure he's sitting as straight as I can get him there. going to pull that back a little bit. Yeah, that looks pretty good to me. I'm going to try and find the end of my wire here. There we go. And I'm just going to come up through the centre of that ring. Now just remember, I just came up with this design this morning, so I haven't worked all the kinks of it out yet. I probably should have done this one next week, but I didn't have anything else to show you guys, and I didn't want to disappoint you and not put out a video. So, again, I've just had another very busy week. I've had two funerals to go to this week, so, um, yeah, just not thinking about... Uh, designing jewellery, not that I'm not always thinking about jewellery, but um, I just, yeah, didn't come up with any design, so I just 
I did have something running around in my head and I, and that was something to do with circles. So that's why I thought I'd have a go at this bracelet. Okay, so I've got that around. Now we're just going to come back down again. <laughs> got wire flinging here everywhere. All right, down we go. keep this on camera for you guys so okay I've gone down and under so now I'm going to come okay I'll see if I can bend this up through here I might be able to do it this way <laughs> all right so I've gone down and around I'm just going to go down through this one one more time find the end of my wire come here so even though you don't have to worry about keeping your wire all nice and straight just make sure you don't get kinks in it and make sure you pull it up nice and tight too so that, and pull it through tight on these joins here. Come on, Ryan. Do your thing. Come through. All right, so that one's coming under, so I want to go over on this one. Oops, caught under my leg. Come on. I just want to bring that up a bit closer there. So this will stay once we wire wrap it. Okay, so I'm going to come through the end of that. Oops, I've got a kink. Gonna come up through here, through the loop at the end. that first ring. <laughs> it's wrapped right over the top of my camera. Come on down. Okay, I'm just deciding if I want to wrap around one more time. I think I do. around that center part there I just want to make sure it's nice and strong now it's caught on my bracelet Now it doesn't matter which side you go, you can go either either side, so you don't try and keep it all nice and neat in rows unless you want to. Um, but I think the messier the better. I know a few of you, at least a few of you anyway, agree with me on that one. This is what excites me, starting a piece and then seeing where it goes, like where it's going to take me. 
because most of the time I have no clue. It's just looking at it as I'm going along and, and also listening to the wire, paying attention to where the wire wants to go as well. And trying, you know, in most cases not to fight it. Sometimes you have to, you have to be the boss of the wire and make it do what you want it to do. Okay, from here, I'm just going, now I'm not going to wrap around these center part, these uh, joining parts anymore. I'm just going to, oops, if I can grab hold of the end of the wire. Just come up wherever I feel like it. Not paying too much attention to where it's coming up, just letting it do its thing. I do want to pay attention to this join here because at this stage I've only got one piece of wire through it. going down there through wherever, wherever I want to go. If I can bend this and get it up this way and make it a little bit easier. There we go. Okay, I think you've got the hang of what I'm going, what I'm doing here. Um, just make sure you keep your bracelet straight too, because the wires can pull it and pull it out of shape. So just make sure you keep that straight. Um, so I'll continue on. Actually, I should have wrapped around those at the end there. That's what I would suggest. See how I've just come around that? I would have actually what I should have done is wrapped around that to pull it in tighter. But it, at this stage, it's okay. But I'll do that coming back down the other way. Um, just to, yeah, so anyway, I'll, I'll come back when I'm done, you know what I'm doing, so when I've finished up, um, I will come back unless I need to come back in between that, alright, I'll see you soon. Okay, I'm back with you, um, so I've still got, a, I haven't got a lot of wire, I've got, you know, roughly about this much, but I think I've wrapped enough as I, as I want to on this, because as I was making this, i just um, changed my mind a little bit about what I want to do in this center part here. So um, I'm coming down through this last loop here, down through there. So I'm going to bring my wire up, which is the same as what I've done here. I've just uh, wire wrapped around just to sort of give it a bit of a, um, what's the definition, a um, bit of a band look, something along that line. So I'm going around three times and then I'm going to bring my wire up 
Now, this could work or it may not work, so I don't know. It just uh, ran through my head as I was sitting here wrapping. And uh, I decided I'd give it a go. And I might as well give it a go with you guys. So I'm going to bring that up nice and tight there. And uh, I'm going to use some chip beads. So I've got some citrine chip beads here, which are one of my favourite chip beads at the moment. Just love the colour of the citrine. Funny because I'm not a yellow person, but I just love this. I'm going to grab a couple of chip beads. And I'm trying to find ones that where the drill towards the centre. You can have them on the side, but just make sure, like drilled on the towards the side, but just make sure it's, um, you know, it's not uh, just a tiny little bit of bead around the hole. You want to, uh, you know, like that's sort of to the side, but if you can see it's still got a fair bit of bead on it, it's not sitting right on the edge. I try not to use those ones at all. Okay, I'm just going to sit those there. Yep, that looks good to me. So I'm going to bring my wire through. I sort of tucked it over the edge of my frame there. And I'm going to bring it through the centre. move those to the side and I'm keeping that nice and tight I'm going to wrap it through again that's nice and tight we want those chip beads sitting as tight as possible and I'm going to pick up a couple more I cannot see where the holes on these things are for the love nor money Okay, that one's all right. It's a little bit to the side, but it's all right. A little bit chunkier one. There we go. Bringing those down. Getting them to sit where I want them to sit. Just checking that. Yeah, that's good. Bring that wire up. Just making sure I don't get any kinks in it. And around nice and tight. My stomach again. <laughs> it's a little bit late for lunch for me. It's just gone eleven thirty. I normally eat roughly about ten thirty, something like that. Just behave yourself, stomach. Not long to go, and I'll get you something to eat. It's like having a wild animal. Okay, they're sitting nice and firm. What do you think so far? Does that look all right? As I said, it was just an idea. It'll either work out or it won't. I probably shouldn't have changed it midstream, but variety's the spice of life. Oh, I don't want to be chasing these chip beads all over the place. Come on, guys, cooperate. Just let me know where the hole is. There we go. I 
didn't get that one very, very tight there, but I'm not going to undo it now. Let's see here, I might have to go down through the bead this time. We'll see how that, um, through the bead, through the hoop. As I said, this will either work or it won't. But you've got the basis idea for the, if this doesn't work out, you've got the basis idea for the for the bracelet link and um, you can uh, do something. Either don't use any beads, which could, could look still look really nice as a bracelet. Or um, just wire wrap them on the way you want to. I've got my pliers for my hand, get this one a bit tighter this time. I should have done that for the last lot. Uh, I don't like the way they're falling to the inside. I'm going to have to unwrap that. Alright, I'll come back with you when I've unwrapped this. Okay, I'm back with you. So I wrapped those last two beads on. I just wrapped them the opposite way and I've popped one, one more bead on my uh, wire here. And why I've only popped one is because I want to wire wrap. Let's see which way it goes better. Don't like the way that's sticking up there. Okay, so that's okay. So yeah, so I just wanted one there because I want to wire wrap the same as what I did around this side here. So I'm just going to actually bring that over because I want to come back this way so I can wrap on some more beads. There we go. Bring that wire up. As I said, this will either work or it won't work. And if it doesn't work, I'll just pull it apart. I'll take the beads off and um, start over again. Okay, sometimes it's just a matter of twisting your beads around to get them to sit in the position where you want. All right, I'm just going to do one on that one. You know, because your chip beads are all roughed edges, as you know, and uh, they don't always sit exactly how you want them to sit. So you just you can fiddle around with them, getting them to sit where you want them to sit. Okay, that one there says, see, I didn't do that very well. It's too loose. Okay, I'm not going to worry about it now. <coughs> this video is getting too long as it is. gracious all right just find a couple more beads that i can i'm looking for like just the right size i don't want them too big and i don't want them too small at this stage It's so much easier if I could see the holes on these rotten things. That's see that's that's too um, close to the edge. I wouldn't use that one. That one's okay. Get 
again, it's just fiddling with them to get them to sit. No, 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 don't like that at all. I might just pop one there, I think. This one here's putting me off because he's not sitting in the right place. And neither is that one there. Okay, I'm going to have to do something with those. But at this stage, I'm not quite sure what. So I'll just keep going until I figure it out. Okay, I think I'm going to have to come down through this one. I'm just wondering whether I should just leave it like that as a half. Not sure. Hmm. I probably shouldn't have done this on camera. I probably should have taken some time and thought about it. What do you think? Do you think I should go all the way around or should I do a half one it's just not uh, speaking to me at the moment I'll see this is what my design process is all all the time I'm talking to myself arguing with myself sometimes getting cranky with myself sometimes <laughs> see my thought behind stopping there was to show off a bit more of the wire but I don't know so I'll keep going you could probably try it yourself at home and see what you think Not getting my wire tight enough. <coughs> Let's see what you look like on there. I like the colour of this one, it's nice and dark. sitting there Nice if I could use this big chunky one here, it would take up a lot of real estate. Where is your hole? Oh, look 
at that, it's still too close to the edge. Uh, what a bummer. That one's not too bad. Don't think it's gonna set the wrong shape. Well, it might be if I flip it around, we'll see. Oh yeah, he's alright. Okay, now to finish this off. Okay, what I'm going to do, I think, I'm trying going to try this is come down through the center. down through the center again I'm gonna get some of these beads a bit oh they're tightened up quite oh no they're still loose over there so the, I've, I've got this much wire left over I'm just going to go through and tighten up these beads by wrapping in between them. Some might only take one wrap, some might take two, that one's going to take two. I should have enough wire I hope. Okay. Sorry guys if I've been off camera, I've been totally concentrating on this and not really even watching. Alright, but hopefully not too bad that you couldn't follow along. Alright, that one's only going to need one. So I'm just going to continue this off and go around and I'll come back when I'm ready to finish my wire off. Okay, I've come to the end of my uh, wrapping around to make sure all my beads are nice and secure now. You can see that, they're all nice and firm. So I'm just going to finish this wire off and I don't have very much left of the, what was it, 184 centimetres, 72 inches. So I was pretty spot on with that. So I'm just going to bring this wire up through the back here on the opposite side. And um, where do I want to go with this? Okay, I'm going to come in between those two beads there because that's where it fits nicely. And I'm just going to wrap around here one more time. Actually, two more times just to make sure. Now I'm just thinking, do I want to... I'm, I know what I'm going to do. I've got just enough to do it. I'm going to come down through there, bring that in nice and tight, and finish it off here. cutters and tuck that wire down. I've tucked it towards the inside. Make sure that's nice and tight. Okay. Now I'm going to play around with these wires a little bit. You know me, I can't just leave things as they are. You can leave that as it is if you like it like that. I just want to give things a little bit more of a bend and a mess up. Just to give it a little bit more personality.
Oop, my door taps bang. It's getting windy outside. You hear the blinds in my bedroom flapping around. Go that way with that one. That way with that one. Just uh, yeah, give it a little bit more personality. Straighten that up a little bit. I don't like seeing straight wires. I can't help it. I've got to, got to bend them. I'll do the same thing on the back. Just bend a few wires. This is also helping tighten things up. I know I've said that before in other videos, but in case you're new to the channel and you don't understand why I'm doing it, also helps tighten things up. You can tidy things up a bit on the back if you want. Anyway, you can fiddle with it to your heart's content till you're 100% happy with it. I'll fiddle with this a bit more. I'm just showing you my process of doing this. Yep, I'll fiddle with that a bit more to get it exactly right. So that's what we've got there. Now, obviously, that's dead straight. I was going to put on this wrist here, but I've got another, another one of my bracelets. This is one of my freeform ones I did a while ago. I quite often just pop them on and wear them around the house. Um, okay, so, so we need to get that uh, shaped so it's going to fit your wrist more comfortably, not stick out straight. So I just like to bend them. Pop it on. I'll get my uh, take my watch off so I can fit this on a bit better. Pop it on and see. It's still a little bit not quite there so I'm just going to bend the ends in and that's pretty much it so it's ended up that shape there now with this what you could do um, for your end piece I was going to do this but it's uh, taking way too long for this video um, you could attach leather to to this um, and do it up with a button on the back you could use sari silk which would look absolutely beautiful or you could make a chain um, yourself and, you know, attach it to um, this. I like to do like a, uh, just a small little link, like a double chain, then add another jump, a larger jump ring, and then just one row of uh, chain at the back. So you've got a double link here attached to a jump ring and then a single chain coming around the back and finishing off. Um, anyway, guys, let me know what you think down in the comments whether you like it or you don't like it or as I said I just made this design up this morning and uh, it's just um, basically like a prototype you know I mean uh, this one here I used uh, if you wanted to know it's six millimeter um, African turquoise and this one here the thinner one is um, strawberry quartz just in case you wanted to know but similar but two different bracelets um, so you can just ha have fun playing with it and using what what you think i like this open idea kind of looks like um colored soldier around a margarita like around the lip of a margarita glass that's what it reminds me of anyway let me know what it reminds you of you might say something terrible but um keep your comments nice that'd be lovely and uh, uh what else do i want to say before i finish off this video is getting very long um yeah, don't forget to hit the like button, guys. It really, really helps out, especially now for some reason with YouTube. It's um, very important to hit the like button. So if you wouldn't mind doing that, that'd be great. Um, subscribe if you'd like to. If you like my videos and you'd like to see more, make sure you hit the notification bell. Um, <clears throat> so you get announcements. And um, don't forget the um, super chat down, the super thanks down the bottom. Um, that also helps me out heaps. As I said, I'm saving up for some really nice tools, which I've never had. Anyway, enough gabbing on, guys. I will catch you all next week in the in the next video. Everyone have a good one, and uh, take care. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.